Hello, Sean Smith with Arva Industries. Uh, here to demonstrate uh, the Arva MS260 scaler. Um, this is a hard rock design machine for uh, uh, scaling. You can see the uh, it's a straight boom design. It's a little different configuration than the traditional scaling machines that uh, we've seen in hard rock applications. Uh, the big advantage is simplicity and uh, reach. Uh, we've got a, a, a nine meter uh, reach here that we can uh, go into a drift and we have one, uh, one parking and we don't have to drive into the drift any further than some of the other smaller uh, reaching machines. Uh, it's designed and built in Canada and um, <clears throat> It's a uh, fairly simple design. It's uh, big tires, a lot of ground clearance. We have a front plow on the front. We have stabilizers and outriggers uh, for, um, for the design. We have an enclosed cab on this particular model, air conditioned with glass, uh, safety screen. The uh, controls on the inside of the cab um, are joy mounted or joystick uh, mounted on the seat. and um, fairly uh, efficient little cab. Uh, there's also an option for a radio remote that uh, you can see over here. And it's configured the same as the joystick mounted uh, uh, on the seat. Okay, you can operate up to 100 feet away. Uh, a lot of the uh, miners uh, find it's really handy so that they can uh, uh, step away in some obstruction or some low light conditions and they can get a different field of view for uh, operating the scaling. Um, it's, uh, you can see the big condenser. We have run this uh, air conditioning units up to uh, a 50 degree C and maintain about a 25 degree differential for the cab and the operator. On this particular model, we have a, a water tank on the back so that we can spray water and keep the dust uh, suppressed on the uh, scaler as well. The engine is a Cummins power, 99 horsepower, uh, Dana transmission, six speed, so that uh, we've got all kinds of range of motions going up uh, drifts. Okay, diesel powered. So what I'm gonna do is uh, step into the cab, I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna do a quick demo just on uh, scaling of the rock there to see how the action is. We'll go through some boom motions up and down, uh, left and right. The uh, boom swing is 70 degrees left and right, so 140 degrees of action. And as I described earlier, we've got a, almost a nine meter reach uh, with the scaling tip. Okay. So first setup uh, on the machine is uh, setting the outriggers. All we're doing is stabilizing the machine, just so that when we swing left and right, uh, we don't have any instability at all. We activate the joysticks with safety interlocks, and then uh, the machine uh, swings I'm at low idle condition here. So it swings 70 degrees left and 70 degrees uh, to the right. I'll telescope the boom. And I can swing the head left and right. There's two actuators on the boom tip. One's left and right, and uh, they're 70 degrees as well. So 140 degrees of rotation. This is uh, 140 degrees rotation to the right. 
get a full range of motion up and down, uh, same dimensions of 40 degrees or 140 degrees. This will allow the, the miner to scale in uh, various conditions, up and down and left and right, without having to uh, reposition the machine. Activating the, uh, the scaler is uh, with a push button and it's pre-timed. In this application, we've got eight seconds. At the end of that, you have to reset it. This is uh, proper tool use. Uh, if you haven't broke uh, or scaled the, the area properly with that uh, hammering, um, the, it's not going to fall down. So the idea is to reposition the, uh, the scaler, uh, another location, another position. Depress the, uh, the, the tip into the rock and then hit the activator. Okay. We can go down in our application here, we can go down to minus uh, 10 degrees. If you're doing the floor or if you're doing the, the bottom portion of the, uh, of the drift for any scaling. And we go up to a maximum of, of 48 degrees full boom elevation. And this will give you close to a nine meter reach um, for this boom. We keep this angle at 48 degrees at the maximum so that if there's any fallen rock uh, it's as far as way safely far away from the operator cab and the machine as possible. So the hydraulics are load sensing uh, hydraulic systems so you can run this machine at full speed. I'm at low throttle right now and uh, the hydraulics are going to speed up uh, a little bit more uh, but you get full control. All actions will work at all times. Got plenty of lights on the machine and you can activate those by complete CAN bus driven LED lights uh, on the dashboard here. Also, I'm going to demonstrate uh, driving the machine. We could do in four-wheel steer or two-wheel steering. This is to uh, improve the turning circle. We're about uh, uh, five and a half meters or so on two-wheel steering and uh, 2.5 meters uh, inside radius on four-wheel steering. So this will be two-wheel steering. And this is four-wheel steering. 
simple push button on the dashboard. This will allow very tight circles inside drifts. It's an automatic shifting transmission, speed sensitive. Uh, so as we uh, speed up, it auto shifts up and down. Selection of the gearing is uh, only forward and reverse. We had emergency shutdown, park brake. Park brake is interlocked as well. And you can see the, uh, the lighting. The blue background means that uh, these lights are available. The green is selected since I'm four-wheel steering right now. And throttle settings, if I select, uh, speed up the throttle, and off. All the outrigger selection, these are all uh, programmed with CAN bus, so it makes it very flexible, and um, we can plug in a, a laptop, and with our diagnostic program, you can uh, diagnose um, the, uh, any problem solving on the machine. Okay.